This is one of the three combustion turbines we have on this project. Each combustion turbine is rated at 250 megawatts. When they're combined together with the steam turbine, the total power out for output from this plant is going to be approximately 1,250 megawatts. FPL is going green, building the next generation clean energy center in Riviera Beach. Back in June of 2011, Floor Power and Light tore down its 1960s era oil and gas fired power plant to make way for a new $1 billion clean energy center. Behind me is one of our main power transformers. This piece of equipment is used to connect the electrical generator attached to the combustion turbine. It steps up the voltage to 230,000 volts and it's connected to the transmission switchyard and that's what connects the power plant to the electrical grid. The new energy center will be dramatically cleaner than the old facility, reducing its emissions by 90% while producing twice the amount of energy as the old plant. These are highly efficient, advanced technology combustion turbines. This new plant will be 33% more efficient than the plant it's replacing, which means it'll use one third less fuel for the same amount of power that it generates. The fuel efficiency comes from the combined cycle technology. So the old plant used oil and gas, about 60% oil, 40% gas. This new power plant is gonna use primarily natural gas technology. So you're essentially being more fuel efficient by using a combustion turbine and a steam turbine, and the emissions are basically going to be steam. 650 workers man the construction site, performing a multitude of jobs. In addition to all the equipment that you see above ground, there's an equally impressive amount of equipment below ground. Uh, below ground we have underground piping, uh, cable, duct banks as you see here, and essentially all these cables interconnect all of the equipment throughout the plant to the electrical buildings which contain the breakers and the control circuits which operate the plant. The crew is a year into construction and on track to complete work by June 2014. Once the power plant is operational it's going to go into our grid and usually we like to build power plants near our demand centers which is basically where we have a lot of population. So obviously South Florida, Palm Beach County, Broward County, Miami-Dade County is where a lot of our customers live. We serve about 4.6 million customers statewide and about 3 million of those customers are here in South Florida. Not counted among those 3 million is Florida's manatee. But the new energy center will also be serving the endangered mammals needs. Since the 1960s, uh, one of the uh, side notes for the power plant is it discharged warm water into the channel here and manatees during cold weather temperatures would come by the plant and huddle to stay warm. Cold weather is one of the leading causes of deaths in the endangered manatees. So one of the byproducts of the plant was just producing warm water. Since the power plant came offline, we've installed temporary heaters. That way when the temperatures drop, we still provide that warm refuge for the endangered manatees. Once the new facility is completed, residents will be able to get an up-close look at this Florida native. After the plant is completed and operational, we are going to be constructing a public manatee viewing area for the local community here. That way, anytime the temperatures drop and there's manatees huddled by our power plant, the local community, schools, children can come by, see the manatees up close, and learn a little bit about these endangered mammals. This is going to be one of the most advanced technological power plants in the country. We're using extreme fuel efficiency. The combustion turbines are the latest, greatest technology in terms of fuel efficiency and power generation. And as we continue to invest in these technologically advanced clean energy centers, it's having a ripple effect by not only lowering the cost of energy for our customers, it's saving fuel, and it's lowering air emissions, so it's benefiting the environment as well.